up you guys and welcome back to Clever Scott. Had some bass in it this time. We are back with a special edition of Who Bought That? And for today's Who Bought That, we are focusing on outfits for fall, which in LA means like maybe 65 degrees. Maybe. All things being bought today will be purchased from ASOS, and I'm very excited because their stuff is cool AF. And we're also adding a very special person to this episode. We are collabing with Danny DMC, who is a badass content creator and a confidence activist. Her stuff is so cool. Thanks, ladies. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Danny DMC. I am so excited to be here on this Who Bought That Adventure. We're gonna have so much fun today, and I'm so excited because I love fashion so much, and what better way to get to know somebody than to buy them an outfit and fully style them. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Okay, so if you're new to Who Bought That, how it goes is that we're each assigned to one specific girl, and we have to buy them a fall outfit head to toe. So that means pants, shirts, jacket, shoes, the whole thing. And then once we've tried it on and checked ourselves out a little bit, we have to decide who bought that. Get comfortable, grab you a snack, and let's have some fun. <laughs> Alrighty, time to get down to business. So it looks like I will be shopping for <gasps> Drew. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, I got Danny, cool. Okay, okay. Okay, so it looks like I'm shopping for Sinead. I have Jackie, so I have pulled up her Instagram and I've been looking through a little bit. Buying someone a complete outfit really gives me anxiety because I just wanna make sure I get them things that they like and things that they wear. Like me, Danny also loves to be sexy. She loves to do some bold looks. Oh, I got you, girl. This is not gonna be hard at all. But I really wanna bring in some fun colors because first off, I feel like colors equal unapologetic confidence to me, like bright, bold colors. I also feel like we missed out a little bit on the bright colors of summer because we've all kind of been stuck inside. So I wanna incorporate a little bit of that in her outfit. But I do love Drew style so much. It's very womanly and sophisticated and she definitely is very feminine in her style. I love my girl, Sinead, and she is so fly. She has the dopest style ever, but that also scares me because she's very specific and she's very particular with what she wears. I want to do a form-fitting dress. Have you seen Danny's beautiful curves? Oh, we're not hiding those. Also, Drew's like super outgoing, so I feel like I have to get her something that she can wear out, but she could also wear maybe like on a date and she could also wear it on camera. Actually, this is gonna be kind of tough, huh? All right, let's start shopping. Wish me luck. May the force be with you. Okay, so I'm gonna start looking at dresses. Maybe I type in like, like off the shoulder. That could be fun. I know that I definitely want to bring some street style to her look. So I wanna start, Nike is my favorite. So I wanna look at Nike and I wanna see what they have for shoes. I could either go for like a cute pumpkin patch dress or like a cute going out sequin. <laughs> <laughs> situation. Shopping for other people is so stressful. <laughs> I might be shopping for like five hours. Ooh, these are cute. Mm, that's like bridesmaids dresses, that won't do. Some of these things are kind of like formal or like mature, you know? Jackie has a gorgeous skin tone and I really want a color that's gonna make that radiate and make her glow. So I really like the color lilac. Okay, so this copper orange sequin situation is so cute. And the way it crosses in the back and ties that is so pretty. There's a couple of really cute blazer dresses. Honestly, I think it was a really good choice. I just have to remind myself I'm not shopping for myself. Like, stay away from black and white. When it comes to Sinead, black, maybe maroon. This is a cool looking jacket. It's black and white, but I feel like it's too much. And Sinead's afraid of butterflies. Like, butterflies scare her. Ooh, okay, this is kind of cute. Okay, 90s. I'm feeling a 90s retro vibe too. Oh my God. I love, 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 love this black dress. It's very fitted. It's short, off the shoulder, and it's a, like these mesh sleeves. So even though it's long sleeve, it still gives you some skin. I love this jacket. This is really dope. I feel like Sinead would wear something like this for sure. Let's see if we can find some sunglasses because you know, in Cali, it's definitely still, oh, I love these. I'm interrupting myself. 
This dress is so cute. I still get a little bit of the color from the sequin one. It's like a copper. It's long sleeve, it's a mini. It has this really cute cutout right here, right above the bust line, so you still get some skin. A couple of good options though. I could totally see her rocking like something like this. Is even like a cutout detail on it. Oh yeah, that's cute. A little bit of back cleave, good neckline. Okay, I think I have a good idea of what I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna look a little more, see if I can find a couple things to perfect it, but I'm really feeling this. I feel good about what I have. I don't want to show you guys much more because I want you to still be surprised at the end, but I, I have no doubts that Danny is going to look fire. <laughs> The sun's going down. I even got a little snack because I've been shopping away. I feel pretty confident. I feel like once I got a couple of pieces down, everything's gonna come together. I just hope she likes it. We'll see. Many unbearable hours later. <sighs> okay, you guys, I am in my who bought that outfit. Okay, first of all, this outfit's awesome. When I saw these pieces individually, I was like, okay, I don't know if this is my vibe, but wow. I'm like in shock. Whoever bought this for me definitely wanted me to have an Aaliyah moment, a TLC moment. These joggers fit amazing. Like they fit so good. Look at this backless bodysuit. Now if that's not Danny DMC, I don't know what is. But I have these almost like translucent rose gold heels on and this jacket dress, I wanna say, with this cream faux croc clutch. This outfit is this white tank top, these jeans, these amazing black boots, this jacket, stuff, um, and this Adidas backpack. Big jean lavender shirt, lavender pants, and then they also bought for me this Nike shirt, which I just felt like everything was so big that I didn't know how to style it correctly. So I just put this purple lace bralette underneath. And they also purchased this really cute um, lavender bag for me to go with the outfit, which is super dope. So she got me silver hoops. I never wear silver, but I love how dainty they are. And look at these safety pin earrings. And you guys know I have so many piercings. So these are amazing and I love that I can stack and layer them. Oh my gosh! And then, because it might get a little bit chilly, another jacket. <sighs> like, I'm ready. I'm dressed and ready to go. That's hot. Whoever got me this, one, thank you. Two, how did you know? And three, who are you? Now, I'm trying to think who could have got me this outfit. I think whoever put this together knows what they're doing, which gives me an idea of who picked this out for me. I think the only thing that's throwing me off is just how much of me is in this outfit. This person, even if it was on accident, somehow managed to get like one of my favorite colors. Either this person has heard me say that or they just totally get my style. Whoever bought it, like I love that they surprised me. That's the whole point of bouncing style off one another is that people inspire you and force you to try different things that you wouldn't normally try, gets you out of your comfort zone, and then bam, you're like, wait, this is a hit. I need to get out of my comfort zone more often. And also, whoever bought this for me, they're probably looking at me wearing this outfit like, what the actual heck did you put together? Because they probably had this really dope vision and putting all of those pieces together and I probably managed to make it look whack. <laughs> who got this for me. I think I really do know. I want to cancel out Drew automatically because I feel like if Drew was buying me an outfit, uh, there would definitely be a lot more skin. She would never buy me oversized anything. There are certain things about this outfit that scream Jackie to me. I feel like she owns something really similar and also Jackie tends to wear a lot of oversized like tops, jackets, hoodies. But then the jewelry makes me feel like it could be Drew. And then like the shoes kind of scream Danny to me. So basically I have no idea. I feel I feel like a part of me thinks it's Sinead. I think I think it's Sinead. That's like what my gut instinct is telling me. I think Sinead got this for me. Sinead has a very good sense of style and I feel like Sinead is very good at styling people and especially in regard to the accessories. Like the whole, the dress is already a choice and then she paired it with such simple jewelry and the clutch is such a good juxtaposition because you know it's like it's that croc um, with like patent leather material so it's a nice contrast with how matte the trench dress dress is with the belt. Sinead, you did this. I know you did. If anything, Sinead has like this super cool type of style. She knows more than anybody that I want to go out of my comfort zone and try something new. So I'm gonna have to say, I think Sinead bought this outfit for me. I think that the jacket being the fit 
the color, the style that it is, really makes me feel like it's Jackie. Like, it really, really does. I just feel like this is something that would totally be in her closet. So, I'm gonna say Jackie Jack. Jackie Adonisi, final answer. I'm about to get the results on who bought this outfit for me. Oh, 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 it was Drew. Okay, I really thought it was Sinead, but it was Drew. Yep, I was right, Sinead. I'm not surprised at all, I'm not surprised at all. All right, the answer is Danny. I was so off. <gasps> It was Jackie. Dang, I'm good. I was definitely teeter-tottering between Danny and Sinead, but now that I think about it, it totally makes sense. Danny, I appreciate you wanting me to get out of my comfort zone and try something different. Drew, shout out to you. You really did your thing. <laughs> you snapped, and I really appreciate you getting me out of my comfort zone, but still sticking to my style and giving me that streetwear vibe. You really clearly knew what you were doing, and I appreciate you, sis. Like, you got me all the way right. I'm ready for fall. Honestly, I'm not that surprised. I feel like it was really, really tough, and I would have not been as surprised if it wasn't Jackie, but I felt like Jackie was the right pick simply because of this jacket. I feel like the jacket just kind of gives it away. I totally feel like this is something that would be in her closet. I like it. I like it, Sinead, that you push me out of my comfort zone a little bit because this is not something that I would normally pick out, but it's, it's, it's cool. It's different, you know? I'm not surprised well, at the least bit at all. I knew it was you, Sinead. I think this outfit is super dope. I would have never have picked this outfit for myself. And again, like I've been saying, I really appreciate anybody that is going to push me out of my comfort zone because I'm very plain Jane. I like to keep things kind of simple. Also, I feel like Jackie would have panicked a little bit. The anxiety is already kicking in, you guys. I feel like she would have tried to make sure she got things that are so me, like things that I've been very vocal about. Like, I feel like she would have been stressed. <laughs> I want Sinead to like what I get her, so I might be shopping for like five hours. Yet another successful episode of Who Bought That. You guys, if you haven't seen us do this before, be sure to click around to see the other times we have bought things for each other and then had to get to guessing about who bought it. This time it was all about outfits, but you guys, cover style. There's more where this came from. I have to go. I have to go stretch in my refrigerator. I have happy hour with myself at five. So I will see you later. Bye. Thanks, Sinead.